have some great anecdotes about that run to a national championship, the first at UNLV history. And one of them was that in the final four against Georgia Tech, Georgia Tech's mascot ran around the court <laughs> waving play money at the UNLV players. I need to hear more about this. I can't imagine a day and age now <laughs> where a mascot in a tournament game would be throwing money at the players on the opposing team. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. The, 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 and one of the reasons why I wrote the book was to clarify some of the misconceptions that they had, misperceptions they had about the UNLV program and the players. Those kids that are on that team were the nicest kids they were very, very successful. In fact, the New York people know what a great guy Larry Johnson is. And, and, and uh, Greg Anthony, who played there, uh, Coach Krzyzewski said that they were the nicest kids they'd ever met. But they, the media tarnished them and made them look like they were a bunch of thugs and that they were uh, outlaws and criminals. And uh, because of uh, the, my dad's battles with the NC trade that they were bought and paid for. So it wasn't just the Georgia Tech game. There was places all around the country that uh, they would do different things like that. Uh, and uh, and uh, treat them that way. But this team was so tough mentally that before the game, uh, I think it was a Georgia Tech game, uh, they got in the huddle and when they were yelling thugs and hoodlums at them. They got in the huddle and said, one, two, three, let's go, thugs. And they went out there and uh, beat the crap out of them. And it was a really great a tri tribute to their character. Under the heat of the NCAA microscope, after winning the national championship and then losing to Duke in the Final Four the following year, and then having a final year at UNLV, your dad finally had to step away and leave. Do you think if he was still there at UNLV through the 90s, they could have continued that type of success going to Final Fours? Oh, yeah, they, they would have had even more success than they had had uh, previously. And I know that says a lot because the last three teams were like 97 and 6 and went to, uh, uh, in three Final Fours in four years. But and I don't say that just because I'm the son and I'm and I uh, and so forth. But this is this is who they had already committed and, and was coming to UNLV. They had Ed O'Bannon, Sean Tarver, and Charles O'Bannon. All three of them led the UCLA to the national championship two years later. They had Jason Kidd commit as a sophomore to come to UNLV, and he took uh, um, Cal to their greatest teams ever. They had a chance to get Jalen Rose, who went to the same high school as Anderson Hunt, and put him on the team for the first time in my father's career. He was going to get the top players in the country year in and year out. Larry Johnson was a top player, and we, we got him out of junior college, but my father really didn't have those top notch players. He, my father got the second best, like the guys that were 20th to 40th best players and that had a chip on their shoulders. But at the end of his career, UNLV, he was going to get the best. And the other thing that I didn't even realize growing up as a son, but he, he was fired or forced out at UNLV when he was only 59 years old, just turned 60. You got coaches, coaches to the mid '80s now. If you had given them 20 more years, I think they would have won another four or five national championships with the type of players they were bringing in.